I think the best advice that I uh, could give to uh, the participants this year in the uh, Guitar Center uh, Blues competition is, you know, in my past experience, um, both as a judge and as a host, um, I find that the, the, the people who've ended up winning went out there and, and kept it really simple and they connected with the audience more so than, than basically showed every lick that they know um, in the two minutes, because you really only have two minutes to kind of showcase your playing. And it goes back to that old B.B. King theory, you know, it's like, it's the one note factor. <laughs> It's like when B.B. King plays one note, it connects immediately with the audience. So I think the best advice I can give is try to find something that immediately connects you and endears you to that audience because that's really who's voting. It's not just the, the panel of judges, it's, it's, it's the crowd, really. Technique-wise is, you know, what I've been getting into more so, and I've been guilty of overplaying in the past and most likely will be guilty in the future, um, is to kind of condense everything down to where the phrasing and your own personality comes out more so than, than, than just the, I learned this lick, you know, off a of video or something like that. So, I mean, here's a good example, you know. <laughs> And it's just little phrases that are kind of linked together, but they all kind of stop and say something at the end, you know? I'm a really, I'm really influenced a lot by Paul Kossoff and and BB King, obviously, and and Eric Clapton. Uh, vibrato for me, um, I learned from uh, basically three people. I learned from BB King, who has the most identifiable vibrato. Like, you just like, you know it's him right off the bat. Uh, Clapton, um, when he did, you know. And a guitar player named Paul Kossoff, who played with a band called Free. And that basically is the, the three people that I learned from. And Kossoff's vibrato was like this. He would really shake the note and it would really get the most emotion out of each phrase. Um, that's a really important part of blues guitar playing is the vibrato because that's basically your fingerprint. It's your stamp. Um, anybody can just play the notes. With no vibrato, but if you... That's your fingerprint, and that's your kind of sonic DNA, so to speak. You know, I've been getting it more so uh, tone-wise. I find that that the cleaner I play, um, the more gratifying it is to listen to at the end. It may feel a little bit almost choked when you're playing so clean, but you'll be a lot happier in the end because at the end of the day, it's the clarity of the note, you know, you know, good or bad. Some 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 of the mistakes are glaring as well. But if you get this really clean and clear sound, you know, but you know, obviously turn it up enough where you have have the enough, you know, overdrive to where it's not like you know playing like a jazz tone. But um, it, the 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 gigs that I've really dialed back the overdrive and felt just slightly that the the gain was slightly under the mark. And I listen back to those tapes, it's the biggest and the fattest tone I've been able to achieve. You know, there's not a lot of overdrive on the sound, but you know, in the context of a band, it will really cut through.